All right, I used rate times time equals distance to try to solve this problem. Um, the first thing that I figured out is the time that it took the first traveler to equal the time um, that it took the second traveler. You had to add 2.5 hours to the first traveler, so that was one equation that I came up with. Um, I also figured out that, um, let's see, 3 times the velocity of traveler 1 plus 3 times the velocity of traveler 2 would give you the total distance which I'm going to say is d1 or d2 since um, after 3 hours they met in the middle so that would cover the total distance and then from here um, I kind of came up with my two equations that I'm going to use to solve this problem so first um, I used 3 times v1 plus 3 times v2 equals d1. Okay, and then what I did, I said d1 is equal to v1 t1. Um, and for the second one, I did... 3 times v1 plus 3 times v2 equals d2. And I said d2 was equal to v2 times t2. Okay, so I have this. And this. Then what I did, um, I knew that velocity 1 was faster than velocity 2. So if I multiplied some positive alpha by velocity 1, that would equal velocity 2. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to substitute alpha in here for v2. So this equation is going to become 3 times v1 uh, times uh, 3 alpha v1 equals v1 times t1. And then I get rid of the v1, so I have 3 plus 3 alpha equals t1. Um, here I'm going to substitute again. Let's see this in red just so I can see a little better. Uh, 3v1 plus 3 alpha v1 equals uh, alpha v1 t2. And then here I can get rid of the v1s. So 3 plus 3 alpha equals alpha t2. Now what I did, I substituted right here. So this is 3 plus 3 alpha equals alpha times t1 plus 2.5. Then, substituted this in to here. All right, and I got uh, 3 plus 3 alpha equals alpha times 3 plus 3 alpha plus 2.5. Okay. Then you can use the quadratic formula, and eventually you're going to get alpha equals two thirds. So, um, two thirds times v1 equals v2, or uh, two thirds equals 
v2 over v1. Okay, if we notice here, v2 is equal to d2 over t2, and v1 is d1 over t1. And since the distance of d1 and d2 are the same, I'm going to cancel those out there. And this eventually will be t1 over t2. All right, so now I have uh, 2 thirds equals t1 over t2, or um, 3t1 equals 2t2. Okay, and if I solve for t1, I get t1 equals 2 thirds t2. Okay. And then I'm going to use this guy again. Okay, so this is going to be um, 2 thirds t2 plus 2.5 equals 2t. Multiply through by 3, you get 2t squared, or 2t2 two two plus uh, 7.5 equals 3t2. So t2 equals 7.5 hours. So if I plug in 7.5 hours here, t1 would be 5 hours. That's my answer.